Okay, I'm gonna make a little video. I'm gonna service this uh, White Mountain ice cream freezer motor. I have two of these. I have a six quart and an eight quart, but it's the same motor for both of the freezers. But uh, I had an issue with the eight quart one the other day when I was making ice cream, it started to make these terrible noises and I should ground quickly because I didn't want to do any further damage. And I uh, disassembled it and I, the redneck I am, I manufactured a bushing and uh, put it in there and uh, greased it up with lubricant plate after I cleaned all the old nasty grease out. So I'm going to just do a little step-by-step -step video here and uh, tear this one apart, show you what I did, and uh, grease this one up. So, because these things are hard to come by and even the parts are very expensive. But anyway, first thing you want to do, take these two nut, acorn nuts off. And uh, I'll get back after I get that done. Okay, you got that. And you just lift this right off. Then you got three Phillips screws here to take out. Right here, here, and there's one on the other side. So I'm going to take them out and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we got those three Phillips head screws out. And we got it down to this. Now, my next thing is I'm going to take these two, two Phillips head screws out. And uh, we'll get it down and get this thing disassembled so we can check it out. Okay, here's the problem areas. Right here, that gets egged out. This one's okay. The other problem area is on this gear. Right down there at the end, it gets worn. This one's worn. But I'm going to grease it up and, and put it back together because I don't want to spend $61 for gear. The other one's a little bit worn, about like this. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And on some of them, this gear here gets worn, but this gear here is really in good shape. So basically my only concern on this one is right here, but I'm gonna grease the heck out of it and uh, I'm sure it'll last a few more years, but like this gear is like 61 bucks is the cheapest I could find it plus shipping. Okay, I just found something out here. Uh, this motor here is from 1989 when I bought this freezer. Oh, well, my mother bought it for us for a wedding or an anniversary gift. But the other freezer is from the uh, 1990s, late 90s, maybe early 2000s, somewhere in there when I got that one. These shaft sizes are different. This is a much, much heavier shaft and this whole and this one is bigger. So the other one, I made a bushing out of a piece of plumbing brass, which worked out fine. So this one here, I have to, I, if it goes bad, I'm going to have to make some, uh, do some more research and find a bushing. But I'm sure I can find something in all my junk I keep. But anyway, that's just one thing. There is a difference in these motors. So when you're ordering, uh, if you're going to order this gear, make sure you get the right one. This housing, I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, the whole motor's like 200 bucks. You can buy a used one that says it's noisy, which is probably getting the same thing you have for like 100 bucks. But, you know, I'm sure if you search around and look, you might be able to find some parts at a better price. I got tired of looking. I looked for over an hour looked at everything I could find. Of course, White Mountain's out of business. I've heard they bought out by Sunbeam, who probably owned by China. So, I don't know. Best thing you can do is, like, scavenger up some parts and uh, do what you got to do. But uh, what I did making that bushing, I drilled through this the whole way because I wanted to make sure I had it centered with a... 25 64th drill bit and then I pressed this homemade bushing into that cavity in there and uh, 
it works. I mean, I haven't made ice cream with it yet because we just got done making some. So in the next uh, week or two, I'm going to make some ice cream with it and see how it works. But uh, like I said, I'm going to just grease this up real good. I'm going to take a chance on this worn gear. I don't really want to spend, not that $61 all the money in the world, but uh, if it starts slipping, I'll know what to do. I'll just order a gear. But uh, I'm glad I checked it out because they are different. There's not the same gear in all of them. So anyway, I'm going to get ready and grease this up with LubriPlate. That's what I'm going to use. I've, I'm a firm believer in LubriPlate. One of the best lubricants there is. It, the water doesn't affect it. And uh, I'm going to put it back together and uh, see what happens. Okay, I got this back together. Uh, pretty easy. Let's uh, see if it runs. Well, sounds a lot better than it did. Not near as noisy. Anyway. My suggestion is, the way these things are, you can't get pieces anymore. And as easy as it is to do, is like, I don't know how much you use your ice cream freezer, but I'd say about after 10, 12 times of use, It'd be a good idea to take it apart, this motor apart, clean the old grease out, put new in. If you lose use lubri plate, all you have to do is add to it. It usually doesn't get that bad. It it stays really nice, but I mean that's up to you. That's a personal choice. But uh, anyway, just my the old guy's idea here of uh, the video, how I repaired my other one with made a homemade bushing. We're going to see how that fares out. And then the other one, I took apart and did some maintenance on it. I have some wear on the main drive gear, but right now I'm going to take a chance on it. Uh, as long as I keep an eye on it, the worst it can be is, you know, I'll just have to buy another gear. But I got to make sure the shaft is right because the two motors do have two different size shafts on those gears. But um, anyway... Talked enough. Just wanted to make this video. Maybe it'll help some of you folks that have uh, weight mountain ice cream freezers and or like to use them and can't get pieces or can't afford to buy pieces or don't want to spend the money to buy pieces. They can be fixed. Old guy out. Don't go away. I'm back. I'm getting ready to make ice cream. So hang on here a minute and uh, you'll see if this motor that I repaired makes ice cream. <laughs> Okay, I was successful making the ice cream today. This is the uh, motor I repaired. And I made it, and there's the bushing right here that I made. It seems like it's held up. There's grease on there, and I made it. You could make a little grease cup and grease it from time to time. So it worked. It was a success. My redneck repair, my redneck bushing. Okay, here's some pictures of the uh, manual I found. It's got some part numbers in there and some recipes. I just thought I'd add that on here to the end, give you something to look at, and you can show how I caulked the bottom of the uh, freezer tub. Old guy out for now. <laughs>